Department of Human Services to talk more about this because we so often think of human trafficking as a problem somewhere else in the world. Yeah. But it's happening right here in Kern County. What's going absolutely, on? Absolutely, absolutely. It's happening in every zip code, in every part of Bakersfield, and in every part of Kern County, to be quite honest. And this this year alone, well, 2023, excuse me, it's January. Yeah. Uh, 2023, CPS, Child Protective Services, had over 150 phone calls about kids in our county who are being exploited or trafficked. It is happening right here. And it, it's more than just um, sex work on the streets, right? There's yes. also labor imprisonment? Yes, yes, absolutely. We are not as good at screening and seeing that. We're trying to get better, but yeah, we, we've had children come over from other countries with this promise of a fantastic job. And guess what, that never quite pans out. They're just paying back their debt for getting brought over here and never actually make any money at all. And they're being labor trafficked we have a lot in the agricultural yeah. fields, right? So that's definitely happening. Um, but we have a lot happening online too. And, and that's what I want parents to always think about, right? We have so many kids have technology at their fingertips. And there's also 750,000 predators online at every moment trying to get their next victim. Mm -hmm. So we have to be aware of that. It's happening all around us. And this is just so scary to think this is a Bakersfield problem. Absolutely. This is in each of our communities. Yes. So as parents, what are some of those signs we look out for for our kids? So definitely um, what they're doing online, who they're talking to. Do you know them in real life? Mm -hmm. That's the question I ask my kids. They know they can't play video games if they don't know that person in real life. Um, if they're starting to post anything provocative, pictures, talk about making money, mm -hmm. um, things like that, those are usually indicative that they're going out there to make money, right, unfortunately. Uh, for kids who aren't necessarily our own, but maybe even our own, there's tattooing and branding that we look for, terminology that we look for if they talk about a daddy. Right. That's oftentimes what they call their pimp or their trafficker. Um, if they talk about being on the blade, that's the area that's known for prostitution. And there's a, one specific blade we hear about a lot, which is called Fig or Figueroa, okay. down in the LA area. If you hear any child talk about being on Fig, please call because that means they're being trafficked. That's so upsetting. And so what if our child is, is saying words that we don't really understand? Is there a good resource for us to turn to to get that help? Well, yes, definitely. I'm always available to answer questions. They can reach me. Um, there's a lot of resources. Uh, you know, NICMIC, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, has a lot on their, their website. Shared Hope International is a fantastic uh, resource. Uh, World Without Exploitation. There, there, there's a lot out there, actually, if you know where to look. So, But I'm always happy if anybody has a question. I'd rather you call and us be able to, to give resources and give help before it's a real problem versus later. Exactly. And say this isn't touching your life at all that you know of, heaven <laughs> yes. forbid. There are several different awareness events happening around Kern County. So tomorrow you have Eyes Wide Shut, the speaker yes. series that you and Odessa yes. will be speaking at, but also coming up on the 17th, there's a symposium. On the 25th, there's a safeguard conference. Yes. So you can learn more and you can become more impactful in the community, Absolutely. even if you don't know that you're directly touched by this, correct? Yeah, absolutely. And a lot of people have reached out and said, you know, we want to help, we just don't know how. Yes. So you can gain awareness, that's step one. But then figure out how you can how you can help. And part of that might be getting involved with KCAT, our current coalition against human trafficking. Part of it might be being affiliated with CityServe and giving resources. Part of it might be becoming a foster parent and taking one of our youth who's been trafficked. Being an employer to give a job for someone who's trying to get out of this life. There are a lot of ways that you can help. That's beautiful. Thank you so much, Dr. Look. We of course. appreciate it. Of course. And we're going to have all that information on our website as well, so you can get those dates and times Perfect. and locations. And we'll be right back.